In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides to create images for your Schoology assessments. This will give students the opportunity to draw rhythms themselves and create compositions. Before I started my slideshow, I actually downloaded this amazing pack of music clip art from Midnight Music. It's called the Big Free Music Notation Library. I already downloaded it and I added it to my Google Drive. So all I need to do now is go to Insert Image and click on Drive. And it has the entire library of images ready for me to use because it's in my drive. So I'm clicking on Notation Image Library Big. And for this example, I needed a time signature. So I've got that. You can click on it and click Insert. Or when you're adding an image, you can click and drag it. I also added the bar lines and I added the notation examples at the top. I want to show you how you can manipulate these beat bars to create them for your students. They're actually just rectangle shapes. So I started with one and I drew a rectangle by clicking and dragging and I colored it the way I wanted with red and I took away the border, made it transparent. If you want to duplicate the item, the first way you can do that is by doing control C, control V, that's copy and paste. The other way would be by going to edit, edit, copy and paste it's right there, or edit, duplicate. Any of those options will give you multiple of your item. The best way that you can format them so that they all look even is by pasting one and then making sure that the red bar in the center lines up so you know that they're going to be even with each other. Then you can select multiple by holding the shift key and clicking on more than one shape at a time. Or you can use your mouse and you can just click and drag and that will select multiple as well. Then you can copy and paste or duplicate to have four beat bars and so on and so forth. And so the more you duplicate, the more beats you can put in your example. So now that I have the example the way that I want it for my students, I'm going to go to File, Download, and then it's going to give me the file type options. I only want this one slide to make my one image, so I'm going to create a PNG image of my current slide. When I click on that, it will download it to my computer. Then, after I've downloaded my PNG image to my computer, I can go into Schoology and create an assessment. I'm going to go to Add Materials, Add Assessment. Now that I've created an assessment, I'm going to add the highlight image question. When you go to highlight image, that's where you choose the PNG file that you just created using Google Slides. So I found my sample image on my computer and I'm going to add it to the assessment. Here's a preview of what it will look like for my students. They'll have the option to write on it using any of these tools, any of these colors. And you can model writing with stick notation, or if you want, they can draw note heads and write out the full notation. But that way students will be able to actually draw the rhythms that you want them to use for their composition. I hope that this is helpful for you and your students. Bye for now.